So this is your March astrology calendar and we're going to go through all the dates so that you have them uh, there for when you need them. And we're starting off here with 16 transits this month. So it's going to be a lot of activity for all of us. And March 1st, we're starting off with Mercury and Uranus. There's six tiles, so that's good. Mercury being communication, Uranus always throws a surprise. It also denotes change. So you want to see what is up here on the 1st. And keep it in mind, though, because where Mercury is here with Uranus, uh, Venus is going to follow and then Mars is going to follow so whatever starts off there top of the month there's going to be more coming in behind it triggering that very same spot of Uranus that denotes change so you don't want to have to make a decision right away because also here on the first whatever that news is that's going to come to you Mercury your mind your thoughts is going to try to make a decision as it's opposing Jupiter now, Jupiter wants to expand, and it wants to expand fast. You know, it wants to expand big. And I think that is good, but as long as the opposition is there, that's you kind of like flipping back and forth. So hang in if you don't have to make that decision, because on the third, that very Jupiter that was questioning it is now also touching upon Uranus, okay, where, where Mercury was. Now you're going to get more information for the larger picture. And this is so exciting here, everyone, because uh, we, we can see that everything's going to pick up speed. Uh, back to back here with a lot of activity. Venus is going to try and Jupiter. That was just here, sextiling Uranus. So I think we're all going to just feel a flying start this month. Now, of course, it all depends on what planets you have at these very degrees in uh, your chart because, of course, they will come into consideration as well, but I can't see your, your natal chart from here. However, the transits itself, it's all good news. Now, Venus is here uh, expanding with a trine to Jupiter. Jupiter was just there with Uranus, right? And then that's on the 4th. And on the same day, the 4th, Venus is also going to conjunct Uranus. So here we go. More surprises, more news, more interaction. And I feel uh, as far as love goes, that's a good thing. As far as money goes, that's also a good thing. You might just feel the anticipation really rocketing you off because that here on the 4th too, Venus is going to be squaring on Pluto. And Pluto has to do with transformation. So we're looking at deeper changes, altering changes, uh, both in the area of love, but also in the area of money. Um, and, and this Pluto might go, whoa, what's happening? <laughs> right? And uh, so this, mm, I won't say apprehension, but maybe it could be because Pluto really, you know, gets a snag deep into our core. But on the fifth, that Pluto will feel more secured and shored up with security from the sun. And the sun here is sextiling that very Pluto. So just from the first to the fifth, you can see back to back. Now on the ninth, so you got like four days to breathe, to download, integrate all of these new situations. So then on the 9th, Mars is coming in full speed with action, goals, determination, physical energy and drive towards now wanting to expand as it is coming in to train up with Jupiter. And that's a golden, beautiful ray. We want to circle that on our chart as well. And not only that, two days later, Mars is going to conjunct Uranus. So, as we can see, Venus conjuncted it there on the 4th. Mars is conjuncting it on the 11th, one week later. All of this, I feel, is connected to the news that you got there around the 1st. And then, here also, remember the apprehension you felt a little bit there on the 4th when Venus squared up on Pluto? Well, here comes Mars, to the same degree, squaring up on Pluto. So, it's not really as much 
touch and go as I feel it's the doors opening up with, with like a big wheel on it one of those big old iron <laughs> doors because uh, it's opening up new chambers in our consciousness uh, which will affect us emotionally it will affect us as, uh, practically and uh, probably shunt some of you and most of us onto I feel what could be a new path now, Mars is men, so once again, this can have to do with romance, can have to do with the men in your life, but it's also your own male inner mm, uh, determination and, and ability to take action if you're a female. So, and then Pluto is squaring here, also Uranus on uh, the 16th. So when we have Mars-Pluto square, we got Uranus-Pluto square, uh, and then here on the 16th and Mercury square Saturn well those three uh, dates 11th 16th um, may not be the easiest ones to deal with now we can float our boat on the good aspects that came there early in the month because that might be pertaining to you more on a personal level now the other planets I feel could be uh, social aspects that's happening out in the world and we know what's going on in the Middle East and, and uh, there's a lot of uh, unfortunate situations taking place and when we have Uranus and Pluto together now that could even be an earthquake uh, there even with Mars Pluto um, so uh, Pluto is volcanic activity Uranus is earthquake activity put the two of them together it could be either one uh, we put Mars into the picture well then we can have shootings and so forth and we know there's been a lot of this going on uh, over the last year and a half tragic accidents and so forth uh, sad to say but you know there's aspects that covers that too now that won't go down in your own personal life but it, it still means that on these days the energy is jaggedy okay so there might be other situations in your personal life where you might feel people are on edge maybe you were a little bit on edge and try to just be low-key because even this shall pass and it's not really going to last for a long time as we come into the 18th uh, mercury here is going to conjunct with neptune which is more the idealistic way of thinking it is hopes and dreams and aspirations um, imagination okay so you want to kind of listen to your thoughts you might just be able to download some really intuitive thoughts here on this day then venus is going to come in on the 23rd to the same degree of neptune so always when we see harmonious aspects between Venus and Neptune, well, then we have the romantic heart chakra opening up. This is love, guys. Uh, this is beautiful love. It's unconditional love. It's that otherworldly love. And also, of course, Venus with money. It could be a good money day. News of more money coming in or also you connecting to an idea that could absolutely um, generate money down the road for you. Now on the 25th, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. The sun, which is you, your essence, training up beautiful right here to Saturn. And when we have Saturn involved, uh, we also have a structure, we have grounding, we have organization. Um, all of these things that are so important, uh, it's the block builders of the structures that we're creating in our life. So this is a beautiful day to make any major decisions. It will have a long-lasting effect because Saturn's in the picture. And uh, then we're going to end the um, month here with Venus trying Pluto. So that's a lot of intensity, emotional intensity. Venus and Pluto together can be very passionate. Uh, it's also a very good money day here on March 30th. So uh, beyond this, I'll just mention the, the moon placements again uh, for those of you who are coming in on this calendar and not necessarily through uh, the monthly forecast. We have the full moon here on March 5th. Uh, it's a beautiful full moon there in Virgo. It's going to illuminate your way of thinking. 
uh, as far as organizing, structuring your life, what services you can give out to those around you, and also thinking of health matters. We have the uh, new moon here. Uh, it's a total solar eclipse new moon, March 20th, and that's going to be 29 degrees in Pisces. So this total solar eclipse, you might just come to see that something's going to be eclipsed out with final endings. Whatever uh, the universe chooses to eclipse out is for your higher good. So that's only a good thing and it's also here with that new moon which is putting down seeds for new beginnings so this should be a wonderful time for you to actually look at some portal some door opening up for you so interesting it is and then of course Saturn here at last will uh, start its retrograde here on March 15th and it will be there for the next four to five months uh, and it's retrograding there four degrees in Sag, and it will take you back into Scorpio to tie up loose ends there. So this was your astro calendar for March, and I will see you soon. Bye now.